Welcome to another spirit filled message on Christocentric message. If you're new to this channel, I would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well. I would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth, it's going to bless you. Your graces are going to be imparted unto you, and then God is going to visit your home. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. That the purity of your heart vetoes your prayer vetoes your fasting vetoes your spiritual activities every spiritual activity in the believer's life only finds its value from the standpoint of a pure heart and then of course we spoke about the power of illumination supernatural light that if you want to walk with god you want to do business with god in this end time you must be a student of light a student of knowledge and I told us that foundationally speaking there are six kinds of knowledge that is a requirement for every believer number one that you must know God John 17 and verse 3 this is life eternal that they may know thee the only true God and Jesus whom thou hast sent number two that you must know yourself in light of who Christ is hallelujah it's very important number three you must know your role in destiny and in God's prophetic program it is important to know your role your confidence comes when you know that you are not just a number among the many who love Jesus that there is a definite assignment allotted for you and the Bible says moreover it is required in stewards that a man be found faithful hallelujah number four we said you must have the knowledge of the mysteries and the principles of the kingdom. You must understand the modus operandi of the kingdom. How results are obtained God's way. You will be a failed individual, a failed leader, a failed man of God if you do not understand the mysteries of the kingdom. According to Matthew 13, 11, Jesus was speaking and he said, For it has been given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. Hallelujah. In Psalm 82 and verse 5, he says, they know not, neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness, and all the foundations of the earth are out of course. The next verse says, I have said, ye are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High. He says, but you shall die like mere men, and fall like one of the princes. So it's important for us to understand the ways of God. Moses cried to know God's ways before he said his glory. He said, show me your way. And then he said, show me your glory. Hallelujah. It's very important for us to understand this. And then number five, that the fifth foundational knowledge that every believer needs to know is you must understand man as the zenith of God's creation. No matter what else you know, if you do not understand man, you will be limited as far as your spiritual adventure is concerned. Everything divine flows through the vehicle of men. And if you do not understand man as a species, as God's creation, there are many possibilities your life will not capture. Hallelujah. Every time God wants to bless you and lift you, he sends a man. Every time Satan wants to destroy and frustrate your experience, he sends a man. In any case, men have remained the midwives of destiny. Do you know that there was a man called Mephibosheth? It was the carelessness of a midwife that destroyed his destiny. He was not a bad person. Just because the midwife that handled him from delivery to his arrival was made a careless mistake even though he was later favored but he never had the opportunity to maximize destiny it matters who guides you through from one dimension to the other the midwife we do not know her name but we know one thing that the bible credits that there was mistake and carelessness on her own part and a man with a glorious destiny became limited forever in john chapter 5 the man who was lying at the pool of Bethesda. After 38 years, Jesus came to him and said, why are you still in this condition? 
and paraphrasing the man said I have no man this is my tragedy it's not that I have no sense I have intelligence but the man that will become a leverage to throw me there for 38 years the absence of a man even in the presence of solution multiplied a man's pain from one day to 38 years hallelujah this is very important versus another man who was equally crippled in scripture but he had men who were willing to take him to Jesus' crusade and they tore the roof. The Bible does not tell us the conversation the man had himself. But we know that he had some determined friends who said today this man is going to be blessed. And they tore a man's roof. They will negotiate with the carpenter after the crusade. Let the man get his result. That is the power of men. They can make today become your day. As soon as Jesus saw that, it would look like chaos, but he called it fate. Men can help your fate to walk. One time the apostle was afraid and the Lord spoke to him. He said, do not be afraid. Go into the city. I have many men there. Your immunity is in the number of men that serve me in that city. To a point that he said, as anointed as you are, when you enter a city, the first thing you should look for is a man of peace. And if that man receives you, let your blessing rest upon him. But if that man does not receive you, dust your feet and walk out of that city. You must understand man. In as much as God has always desired to visit his people, it took men with vision and a heart for God's people to make this happen. We are gathered today in the name of Jesus, but we are also gathered because of the diligence of men. Number six, the last and the final level of foundational knowledge you must have as a vessel that seeks to be used by God is that you must know your adversary, the devil. In all your knowing, if you do not know who Satan is, you do not understand the schemings of darkness, you will not only be limited, you will be defeated as if Jesus did not die. Hallelujah. Jesus himself was very vocal as to the fact that Satan was a thief. We never knew Satan to be a thief until Jesus told us. We never knew Satan to be a murderer until Jesus told us. We never knew Jesus to Satan to be a liar and the father of them that lie. All this information came from Jesus. We never knew that when a spirit leaves a man, it goes through dry regions seeking for a place of refuge and not finding any, it will return back to its original owner. The stubbornness of spirits was revealed by Jesus himself. That just because they have left you does not mean they have left you. Even for Satan in Matthew chapter 4, he said it left Jesus for a season to re-strategize his return again. Hallelujah. Paul gave us that organogram that we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, powers, rulers of the darkness of this world, spiritual wickedness in heavenly places. He arranged that organogram and he spoke to the church in Thessalonica. He said, I desire to come to you again, even I, Paul, once and again. He said, but Satan hindered us. Satan can pose a threat to the program of God. Jesus himself speaking, he said, Thou art Simon, Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church. He says, the gates of hell. Jesus let us know that we are not alone in this world and in this life. And there is a time allotted for Satan. Our assignment is to use the forces of advantage that we have in the spirit the name, the word, the blood, and to keep him at bay. I did tell us in the morning that every time you see Satan attacking a believer, from Genesis to Revelation, there are only three access points that gives Satan an edge over believers. Number one, covenants. Number two, ignorance. Number three, disobedience. Every time you see a person, a family, a business, a ministry under strange demonic attacks, these have remained the doorways that grants him access to nations, access to individuals. Even as touching the healing of a land, the Bible says, if my people which are called by my name 
shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face turning from their wicked ways then will I hear from heaven I will forgive their sin and heal their land in Psalm 103 the Bible says bless the Lord O my soul give it to us please from verse 1 bless the Lord O my soul 103 Psalm 103 103 not a hundred bless the Lord O my soul and all that is within me bless his holy name are you ready and then he lists six benefits when you walk with the Lord let's follow them and learn number one he says forget not all his benefits let's start from verse 3 what are the benefits number one who forgiveth all thine iniquities number two who healed all thy diseases number three who redeemed thy life from destruction number four who crowned thee with loving kindness and tender mercies number five who satisfied thy mouth with good things so that thy youth is renewed like an eagle's I think it ends at five there those are the things that the psalmist calls the benefits I'm saying that because these are some of the things we have come to experience tonight the Bible tells us that there is benefit when people love the Lord when people walk with the Lord in as much as we do not seek him for things in his dealings with man he has made provision to see to it that every time we are gathered in his name these five blessings are made manifest in our lives again who forgiveth thy sins forgiveness of sins number two healing number three deliverance number four honor number five prosperity that if it is the Lord God of heaven whom you are gathered unto it is important that you are gathered with the awareness that we can bless the Lord the one who has benefits and he can grant men access to these benefits and if you are prepared to access that which is your portion tonight I want you to shout a loud Amen, amen. hallelujah among the many names that God is called is one that I found very interesting the rewarder of them that diligently seek him you find that in Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 6 it says without faith it is impossible to please him for he that cometh unto God you must come with this prior orientation that number one he exists he is so you are not coming to an idol immediately that every time you come to God realize you are not just coming to the governor of your state realize you are not just coming to a king of some clan you are coming to the monarch of the universe that you you have to come to a consciousness that he exists and then number two that he not only exists he rewards the rewarder of them that diligently seek him hallelujah and tonight doubles as an impartation service and we trust God that there will be a definite encounter with the grace of God Isaiah 32 and verse 15 it says until the spirit be poured upon us from on high then the wilderness be counted for a fruitful field and a fruitful field be counted for a forest look at those levels all by the spirit pouring as rain poured upon us from on high and then a wilderness can be a ministry as a wilderness can be a destiny as a wilderness can be a family as a wilderness is turned to a fruitful field and from a fruitful field it is turned to a forest time when it was for drought upon the earth Elijah prayed one prayer he didn't pray that people would scatter and run away he said let rain be withheld from the earth over a period of three and a half years and because there was no rain it affected it was a chain reaction so when the Bible says until the spirit be poured upon us from on high 
the first thing that rain does is to water the earth and make it ready to receive the potential to be fruitful is already in the earth but barren of water it will not produce it is true that you are a believer in Christ. You already have the life of God. You are in the similitude of that earth. But until that rain comes upon you, you will be that earthen vessel that cannot produce. Are we together? You plant on dry ground and leave it there. Without moisture, nothing will happen. And the Bible calls us these earthen vessels. That the excellency of power may be of God. So when he says the Spirit is poured upon us from on high, he comes like water, like dew. Did the Bible not say, Behold how pleasant and how good it is when brethren dwell together in unity. He likens it to the head of Aaron the priest. And that the oil comes from the head of Aaron the priest, even like the dew of Hammon that comes to rest upon a field. And the Bible says, There the Lord hath commanded the blessing, even life everlasting or life forevermore. I'm saying this to you so that you do not just say amen and share the grace and return. Let there be a holy provocation in your spirit. I am tired of this level spiritually. I am tired of this spiritual experience. Not under this atmosphere. I will not return the way I came. The woman with the issue of blood said to herself, she said, if I may but touch the hem of his garment. Can I tell you? There is a responsibility component to your receiving from God. It is not all about the will of God. God can desire and yet nothing will happen. It takes partnership between willing hearts that demonstrate their willingness through faith and then a God that is ever willing and benevolent. If it be thy will, he said, you can heal my son. He said, I am willing. So his willingness is not in doubt. The Bible is clear as to the fact that God desires if he did not spare his only son, but gave him up. He said, how much more will he, shall he give us all things to enjoy? Enugu, please hear me. There is a desperate cry from the spirit that the saints experience the power and the grace and the goodness of God. When Moses asked the Lord for his glory, he said, my dimension of glory that is needed in your life right now is my goodness. You need to see my goodness. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. There is an experience to kingdom life. It's one thing to continue to propose a theoretical God. I know he can heal. I know he can lift. I know he can bless. I know he can anoint. Job said, I have heard of thee with the hearing of the ear, but now my eye seeth thee. God wants to give us an experience of the potency of the power of God. If it is true that God saves, let the nation see it. If it is true that God delivers, let the nation see it. it is, if it is true that God heals, let the nation see it. If it is true that God restores, that he can bring honor to a man. Look at the many lavish propositions we have about God. But the reason why many of us are even frustrated to silence now is because we keep proposing like the men in Athens to an unknown God. We have preached about an unknown God. We have written books about an unknown God. He wants to reveal himself. And there are three ways that God reveals himself to people according to scripture. Number one, the first way that God reveals himself to people according to scripture is the knowledge of his character. He reveals his character to men. When you know who God is, you will know who he is not. The second way God reveals himself to people is the knowledge of his ways, his modus operandi. The third way he reveals himself to people is to give them the knowledge of his power. Ephesians 1.19 And to know the exceeding greatness of his power to us world who believe. So God desires for his power to be known. And I just want to give, I'm giving a general charge because this is our final night and I'm trusting God that God will grant us grace to do justice over the many needs that have plagued God's people. The hymn writer says, um, how did he put it now? 
he says oh what needless pain we bear all because we do not carry everything to the Lord isn't it powerful that there are needless things that we bear needless curses needless delays needless backwardness that continue to misrepresent the love of God and tonight I want you to insist that you will put a full stop to everything that is not God in your life except you do not believe that God is that mighty except you do not believe that God can move and can go that far the man who had an epileptic son he was frustrated already he had met people for prayer and he said listen I, I believe but in case what I'm doing is not faith please help my unbelief by any means I want you to help my son there are many people here who represent the next prophetic voices apostolic voices in the east and from the east to the nations there is a spiritual recruiting that is going to be happening in this place tonight that God himself that he will be walking in the midst of his people and say you I wanted to use your grandfather he rejected me I wanted to use your father he rejected me but now I finally found you in this conference are you ready and for many of us you will say finally I am ready and like I saw in my vision many years ago you will place your tiny hands upon the hands of the ancient of days and watch the wonder that happens when men come into partnership with the God of the universe so take away unbelief tonight and take away distraction know that there is something there is an imprint of his power an imprint of his grace that he wants to make available and to mark upon your life that every time anyone sees you it becomes clear by the spirit of the living God that you are not an ordinary person and that your life is experiencing God at a higher level let me tell you ladies and gentlemen and I plead with co-laborers and ministers of the gospel let's tear that veil that has stopped us from stepping into the deeper rivers when I was coming I heard you people singing another measure and you were crying I said Lord may they understand and mean what they are saying it's not a song it's a cry a cry from the spirit Lord I am tired of laying hands on 200 people and one person says I was healed and the pe you are not even sure both you and the person you are not sure whether it really happened When God called me, I said, Lord, do not send me with just a message. This world is too dark for just a sermon. There has to be a demonstration of the reality of your person. If you are real, let the nation see it. Does that look like what Moses asked the Lord? If I stand before Pharaoh, if I stand before this altar that I watch tear my father down, what shall I tell the altar? Who will I say has sent me? That you want to save all the women in your family from barrenness? Then the altar says, who is this king of glory? Let me show you two scriptures and then we'll pray. I tell you, there is such a mighty, mighty, abundant presence of God in this place. Mighty, abundant. There is a rain. A, a, the cloud is thick. I don't know why you would think in a meeting like this what should come is fire but what I'm seeing in the spirit is rain that's the reason why I read that scripture these are dimensions of the operations of the spirit I'm, I, what I'm seeing in my vision is a thick you know how a cloud that kind of cloud that Elijah said I have seen it he said tell I have start running something is about to descend upon the earth The first thing that happened in Genesis chapter 2 was that the earth could not produce because there was no rain and God caused you to rest upon the land. The moment that happened, fruitfulness began. That song you sang about another measure, 
God had it all. And he will answer that prayer. Did you hear what I said? My God had it and he will answer that prayer. There are some of you that by Sunday when you mount the pulpit in your church, you will say, what is this? What happened? When did Saul become one of the prophets? What suddenly happened? What changed? And for some of you, there is a restoration of dimensions that were once opened. Dimensions of visions. Dimensions of prayer. You used to see things before they happened. You did not know whether you were a prophet or just a serious believer. But something happened to you. And that door became closed in the spirit. Now is the time that that door be opened again. Tonight, I plead with you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Do not be a spectator. Let there be a holy anger in your spirit. I know you came as groups. Some of you came as a couple. Some of you came as, you know, fellowships. But forget about who you came with. This is between you. What is happening to you is in the similitude of Jacob encountering the God of the Bible. And he said, I will not let you go unless I will not let you go. This name, Ichabod, that I've carried for many years, a name that represents shame and reproach, called but in shame, that that name will have to be changed tonight. You can insist by faith. Hallelujah. And there are some of us, you have done the best you know to do. The truth is that your current spiritual state cannot host what God is bringing into your life. Did the Bible not say you cannot put new wine in an old wine skin? You will be willing to replace that wine skin and then new wine is put in new wine skin. Some of you have been carrying an old wine skin. Like Moses, it's time to take off your shoes. That old experience about God for where thou standest is holy ground. God is about to reveal himself to you in a dimension you probably have not seen. Hallelujah. You believe this? I truly believe that in the course of this program, many of you will be open to visionary encounters. That while you are in this place, that as the meeting is happening, suddenly your eyes are open. There are angels. So it's not a song. They are moving around. Angels. This used to happen in the meetings of the patriarchs that whilst they are preaching, somebody in the crowd who is just lost seated, all of a sudden, like Ezekiel who sat by the bank of the river and all of a sudden the visions of heaven were opened unto him, even though he was a captive in a strange land. Exalted high above the worship of the people of the earth. I see the Lord I see the Lord For my eyes have seen the King The Lamb upon the throne Who reigns forever That is God for you. That when he decides to come in the midst of his people, as many whose hearts are open. Listen, some of you are not opening up yourself tonight just for your sake. I want you to think about your siblings. I want you to think about the people connected to you. And for their sake, you press with hunger. And say, Lord, for their sake, for their sake, for their sake, place something upon my head tonight oh god of heaven place something upon my destiny tonight let it not be that i came to camp in this place and to waste my time please pray that prayer place grace genuine grace upon my head
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Luke chapter 24 and verse 49. The disciples were preparing for this rain. I'm telling you what I see. I still hear it. Rain. It's rain. Tonight the Holy Spirit wants to reveal himself as rain. Rain. Oh, 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 Chapter 24 and verse 49. And behold, I send the promise of my Father upon you. He said, But tarry ye in the city of Jerusalem. I have taught you, but do not move yet until ye be endued with power from on high. Tarry ye until ye be endued with power from on high tarry ye until ye be endued with power from on high luke 1 34 luke chapter 1 and verse 34 the angel brought a very disturbing news to a young virgin called mary and he said she was going to be with child and without the participation of a man. And Mary asked a question that some of you are asking tonight. How shall these things be? How shall I suddenly carry the healing anointing? How shall this curse and this yoke upon my life be broken? How shall these things be? Seeing that I know not a man. Gabriel gives the answer in verse 35. Give it to us. The angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow you. Every time you ask, How shall it be? That is the answer. The Holy Ghost shall come upon you. How shall my business expand? The Holy Ghost as rain shall come upon you. How shall ministry begin to make progress? The Holy Ghost shall come upon you. And the power of the highest shall overshadow you. The power of the highest shall overshadow your campus. The power of the highest shall overshadow your fellowship. The power of the highest shall overshadow your church, overshadow your prayer group, overshadow your business, overshadow your family, overshadow your loved ones.
Aleluya. 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 Praise the name of the Lord. One day the Lord opened my eyes and I saw that mantles never leave the earth. Every mantle you ever read about, every mantle you ever saw is upon the earth. According to God's design, when a body leaves, in terms of a man finishing his assignment, is supposed to be a relay there must be another available vessel for that mantle to rest upon that represents the continuity of God's program and so from Elijah it was supposed to go to one of the sons of the prophet but because they were not discerning and prepared it left them and went to Elisha who was not ordained to be a prophet and from Elisha he was supposed to rest upon Gehazi but because he was not a prepared vessel like Judas he wanted to make money from his master and he followed the way of Judas the temptation of Judas did not start with Judas we see that the man Gehazi was tempted the same way and yet nothing happened to him and there was no available vessel and Elijah himself for whatever reason in spite of that anointing he was sick until he died and he died with that mantle and that possibility was never experienced again can I tell you every time you study history in business it happens but in ministry I don't know why it happens there are names when you call you can call the children who are carrying that, that entrepreneurial grace. It's a dynasty that continues to happen. It was supposed to happen that way. That when an elderly man who has served the Lord is about to leave, there should be someone prepared in addition to what God has given him. John the Baptist came in the spirit and the power of Elijah. Unfortunately, he manifested the spirit of Elijah but he did not manifest the power of Elijah. Had he manifested the power of Elijah, he would not die the way he died. Because the same way that woman looked for Elijah, that was how Herod and Herodias looked for him. There was an ability he had. He came in the spirit and the power of Elijah. He used the spirit and ignored the power. So there are mantles and there are graces there is a revisitation and God wants to come through and meet many people it's, it's like a grace that has been looking for you finally God has found you in this meeting and he wants to rest upon your life now the issue is this hear me listen to me please listen to me just because you are close to where the anointing is does not mean you will receive nobody was closer than god than the disciples and you would think they would receive and judas the son of perdition did not even receive anything there were other people who came to the anointed jesus they received a healing and they left if the woman could touch the hem of his garment to be healed she would have touched the hem of his garment to be imparted to everything your faith can do around him that is consistent with his will he is more than willing to make happen tonight there are those who want to make money from jesus tonight there are those who just want to use him as a ladder to be famous but tonight there are people who are saying lord i have misrepresented my destiny because the power component that should rest upon my life as a man of God, I have told people receive and I went back with guilt in my heart. You may be saying, I had to ask God, some of you may be saying, for forgiveness because I know that nothing went to the people. They just shouted amen sincerely and came back with no testimonies. It is those who are hungry and tired of their current level. 
the disciples prayed and prayed and prayed and they did not see anything happen and they noticed that every time Jesus prayed there was result they said teach us to pray there is something wrong with the way we pray it was not prayerlessness it was that they were praying amiss a prayer was not effectual it was not fervent it did not avail much hallelujah so this is what we are in for tonight one last scripture and we'll begin to pray and trust the Lord to reign upon us Acts 4 33 Acts chapter 4 verse 33 please sit down if you can you'll be you'll be upstanding shortly Acts chapter 4 and verse 33 and with great power not with great explanation with great power gave the apostles witness of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus and the Bible says great grace not just grace great grace great grace great grace was upon them all great grace was upon them all with great power with great power so I want you to know that when the Holy Ghost begins to rest upon people it's not just about falling down and rolling you can fall down and roll and not know what came upon you not know what left you and you stand up and that that revelation for some of you you see what is happening to you is not an impartation what is happening to you is the impact of your spirit as it is hearing the voice of God you will not know it's God speaking because he's not speaking to your mind it is after a week from now that what your spirit has received will now filter to the realm of your mind and you will hear that this is what God has said direction for the next level of your life for some of you there are strange spirits that have kept you bound you want to serve God acceptably but these demonic spirits are responsible for the evil signatures that are written upon your life written upon your family you can choose to let them continue or you can be determined that it must come to an end today somebody was given employment and while he was rejoicing by the next day he woke up with an email and the email said that it was an error sent to his mail he was not part of those that got the quota for whatever reason how do you explain this kind of thing that you have held something with your hand just to give God thanks and it reverses I don't know who is carrying that kind of negative atmosphere that atmosphere must leave you this night yeah. hallelujah and then among the many things that God is restoring for some of you like Elijah your altar needs to be rebuilt because that altar has been scattered no prayer no consecration no worship you are not a man of his presence again when it was time for that fire to fall Elijah said put the 12 stones again according to the tribe of Israel and he said pour water and then put the sacrifice and he called upon the God of heaven and it descended by fire many of you need to rebuild that prayer altar it used to be one one hour two two hours every day as a routine a disciplined routine with revelation but you became too busy going for ministrations until your altar dried up it used to be your diligence to study the word but right now even if you sleep for 12 hours the moment you open the bible you feel sleepy again let me tell you for a certainty is an attack because with the same tiredness you will sit in front of a movie and you will stretch another five hours and not sleep it is an attack from the pit of hell you must call evil what it is by its name some of you are business people and you know that things have not been working don't keep quiet when is the time to pray here is an opportunity and you are not paying for it insist that everything that does not represent God must leave my life and leave my business that from January up until now some of you it was at the point you covenanted with God that as I rise the kingdom will rise and Satan said what did you say the kingdom 
you've mentioned kingdom in your business you have become my enemy for as long as it was all about you making money for yourself i don't mind but i heard you say jesus and his purposes the church the servants of god will benefit from your rising and it became warfare not business again how about students there are some of you god took you to campus you thought you went to study physics or chemistry but God took you there because there's someone you need to meet that is connected to your destiny and will help you spiritually. So that when you are graduating, you are living with two certificates. One from your campus, the other from the school of the spirit. Because your parents would not have allowed you go for certain meetings. They would not have allowed you prayed and fasted. And so God used the disguise of admission that whilst you are studying what you are studying, there is a training in the school of the spirit unfortunately when you got the admission you forgot that you were in two schools and you focused on only one and ignored the school of the spirit now you are in final year and you have just a few months and there is a curriculum you will need the grace for speed to catch up with the spirit because if you leave that campus without receiving the mantle you should receive you may not have that opportunity again Listen to what I'm telling you. I'm not just coming here to waste your time. I'm speaking to you by the spirit of the living God. Hallelujah. There is a young lady here. God delayed your marriage because the person you would have married would have corrupted the destiny of the child that God had ordained to come from you. There is destiny like Mary. And because of that, God has been so meticulous about who comes to your life. You've been wondering what is wrong with me. I'm telling you there is nothing wrong with you. It's not an attack. There is something you need to hear that prepares you. After which you will be ready for destiny. Esther would have wasted her time. If Esther had made a mistake and gone any other place. She would not be queen and her man would have killed the people of God. Everything God does, I taught you in the morning, is with respect to his will with respect to his will there are many of you who God has been training for a while and you have been getting promptings in your spirit that you should start a walk but God has prohibited you you know why because there are things you need to know and there are graces you need to receive so that you will not join the queue and begin to frustrate yourself and ask oh God but you sent me uh -uh. tarry ye until ye be endued with power. Tarry ye. The Lord is showing me the photo of a lady. I'm looking at a body, but I'm not seeing a face. You can imagine. It's just like you put a black leather on somebody's face. And you are seeing a body and you are not seeing a face. And the Lord is saying that this is the mystery behind the shame and the reproach that has come upon your life and come upon your destiny but in the name of Jesus the son of the living God every high thing must come down every stronghold shall be broken you wear the victor's crown you overcome you overcome every high thing must come down every stronghold shall be broken you wear the victor's crown you overcome one more time every high thing must come down every stronghold shall be broken you wear the victor's crown you overcome so as the spirit of god begins to move tonight i want you to know that he wants to reveal himself as the great power of god the great power of God for impartation and for healings and for all kinds of things I'm going to be praying for the sick I'm going to be ministering deliverance by the Spirit and if you are here trusting God for healing I want you to insist that your night is the night tonight is your night and while I minister somewhere along the line we're going to give you an opportunity to come and shame the devil as you testify of the goodness and the power of God hallelujah now 
one final instruction I will give and then we'll begin to pray I want you to stand by faith connecting with all your loved ones that are not here when it has to do with this atmosphere of the spirit you can have the faith of the centurion you don't need to come to my house I am a man under authority having soldiers under me I say to one go and he goeth come and he cometh you too I know from where you are you can speak the word only I want you to believe there might be someone sick at home there might be someone oppressed at home they may not be able to make it here they may not be following online but by faith you can connect that tonight this salvation is for me and my house do not bend to the negotiation of Pharaoh when Pharaoh saw that the fire was getting hot he said we'll allow your men but leave the women and the children back Moses said no way everybody will go everybody 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 thank you Jesus here's what I want you to do for me now the first set of people that God is visiting tonight prophetically are people who have experienced strange mysterious delays in life and in destiny and the Lord wants to bring deliverance please whether you are an usher or not when I speak like this and the Spirit of God begins to move I want to plead that you please help me bring the people out by the Spirit of God so that we can make progress there is a lot for us to do tonight every destiny that has been tied down delayed so that you will not make progress in the name of Jesus I am declaring right now as the Holy Spirit comes upon you that yoke of delay is broken that yoke of delay is broken that yoke of delay is broken broken by the spirit of the living God right now I declare that grace is falling on you now the moment that anointing falls upon you I want you to know that that chain is broken in the name of Jesus Therefore, I stretch my hands as many who have been delayed in life and destiny. Let that yoke right now as I speak, wherever you are, be broken now. Please bring them out. Let that yoke be broken now. The yoke of delay. I prophesy restoration as that delay is broken over your life broken over your life some of you are ministers of the gospel that spirit of delay I rebuke from your life right now I rebuke from your ministry right now by the power that raised Christ from the dead be set free now open your mouth and begin to declare your liberty from delay from the spirit of delay Delay be broken. Delay be broken. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. Pray and you pray southeast. The spirit of delay must leave your life and your destiny. Those outside, make sure you are praying. hallelujah hallelujah the Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing three stones one two three and the Lord is saying it represents covenants of ancestry and that he wants to set people free many many people you may not know but as I pray right now the Holy Ghost will descend upon you and every covenant connected to the earth that has tied your destiny as you shout the name Jesus that grace comes upon you now Satan you let God's people go now are you ready one two three shout Jesus be broken now be broken now bring them out be broken now I command my God please help them I cause foundation every covenant of ancestry every yoke of darkness hear ye the word of the Lord be set free I bring you liberty now liberty by the spirit liberty by the spirit liberty
spirit liberty by the spirit from all the regions that represent the east of the niger any family any destiny tied to witchcraft i say it again be delivered right now be delivered right now be delivered right now be delivered right now Aika shalas kafaranda kaprakes ke cross kali kafaranda kafras kabelekoti. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I'm seeing something like a ring being removed from the hands of people, and there are all kinds of wicked satanic covenants that have tied people. And the ring is a symbolism of covenant. I'm praying again. Whatever it is that is not of God, that has bound you to the devil, as I stretch my hands towards you, every evil that is not of God, that has not been planted by my God, let it be uprooted from your life now. 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 Hallelujah. Who is Jennifer? Jennifer. I'm hearing the name Jennifer. Jennifer. My goodness. Please help them. Help them. Be careful so you don't march on people. Just take it easy. I will pray for all those who are in front here now so they can return to their seat. Jennifer, I presume that there will be many people with that name, but I want to pray for you. Hallelujah. Jennifer, I want to pray for you. Every planting, I'm going to pray for your family is using you. You will marvel and wonder at what begins to happen to you after this prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me, I don't know if you are a couple or you came alone. Five years, you are trusting God for the foot of the womb. Please listen to the instruction. Don't just jump out. Five years. Who is the person? Five years. Five, exactly five years. I'm not saying you are just trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Five years. This is what the Lord is showing me. Who is that person? Salvation has come for you. My friend, you, we have to hurry up. There's a lot for us to do. She's five years. My sister, look at me. I want to pray for you. Five years. Ah, this is amazing. I'm praying. Ah. God is going to rewrite people's stories. Hallelujah. Now, I want to pray for this lady. But I'm hearing a shout from my right side. You would think that I'm praying here. And yet the person the power of God is touching is by my right side at the crowd there. And you are wondering, okay, what is God doing? What kind of impartation is happening to someone right there that I'm praying for people in front here and I've not even attended to their needs. And yet the person that God is touching is right somewhere at the back. Please, when you find that person, bring that person for me. It's a marvelous impartation that God is doing for that person. You will never be the same. It is a reign of the Spirit upon your life. My sister, five years you've been trusting the Lord for the fruit of the womb. Where are you from? Huh? Abia State. Abia State. You believe in Jesus? Yes. Father, I don't care what the situation is. In the name of Jesus, by the rod of a higher priesthood, I stretch my hands towards you according to the time of life. In the name of Jesus, return with your miracle. Yes. 
return with your miracle i release that grace upon you in the name of jesus christ i pray for all of you here i hope you are married in the name of jesus the son of the living god i decree and declare trusting god for the fruit of the womb my sister look at me this lady i just saw like fire come upon your head and the lord is saying it is over this is what i announce to you by the spirit in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god let it come to an end by the spirit of the living god in the name of jesus now there are two ladies you are not married but you're going to begin to feel fire literal fire in your belly this one is a prophetic thing god is doing this one has nothing to do with it's like pregnancy but there is an impartation of the spirit there is something that god is doing he says out of your belly shall flow there is there is a stirring within your spirit man and what is happening to you is as a response to that hallelujah let me pray for those who are here first all of you who has come out my dear the lord is going to use you this lady wearing blue i release that grace now upon you you will never be the same by the power of the holy spirit may the lord find a mighty vessel in you in the name of jesus now for all of you who are here i stretch my hands everything that represents the workings of darkness the workings of witchcraft right now you are here standing i release you let it be broken now let it be broken now let it be broken now let, uh, let it be broken now from your life broken from your destiny never to return to you again in the name of jesus christ hallelujah who is joel joel j-o-e-l i'm hearing a name joel 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 is there someone with that name you are wearing like i'm seeing it like an orange t-shirt joel is there someone like that an orange t-shirt this is what i'm seeing in my vision joel please verify what is your name my friend come i'm under the shadow of yours your influence is all over me I am under the shadow of your wings. Your influence is all over me. Joel, look at me. What do you do? I'm a comedian and a student. You are a comedian? Yes, sir. What is the relationship between comedy and ministry? Because this man, as I'm looking at you, I'm seeing a mighty call of God upon your life. This is, this is, this looks like you are just making people laugh but there is a grace that is coming upon you you will marvel and wonder at what God begins to do I stretch my hands may that anointing for your destiny let it rest upon you right now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ and for this Joel in the name of Jesus you are Joel also I decree and declare as you have believed I release grace upon you may God use you mightily in the name of Jesus Christ your father does woodwork like a carpenter like woodwork what does your father do carpenter I am victorious my friend listen to me God is going to use you to wipe the tears of your family listen because i'm looking at someone in my vision and this has been your prayer that god will lift you so that you will lift your family members let me tell you the truth god is going to honor you in ways that will surprise you and as i'm praying for him i'm praying for everyone here may god raise you for the sake of your loved ones i say it again may my god raise you for the sake of your loved ones in the name of jesus christ there is someone here your mother has cancer this is what i'm seeing your mother has cancer i'm going to pray for the sick shortly but just just allow me to do what god your mother has cancer if there is such a person please let me just speak over your life very quickly before we continue your mother has cancer whether you are outside 
please when you find such a person let me know and if it's someone who is following online let me know i want to pray for you because this is a manifestation of the spirit of death i want to pray for you there is someone here as you are here now you are holding the photo of your loved one i think it's like someone who is sick a re hard photo copy i'm not talking of uh, maybe phone by phone a hard copy of your loved one i want to pray for you please make sure you don't tell lies and and then you respond quickly so that we don't waste our time hallelujah you are holding a photo if you are that person let me just speak over your life before we pray hallelujah one two three four five six seven i'm seeing seven people in my vision and no no, no i'm not even talking of this this is for something else the seven people in my vision that i'm seeing i want to pray a prayer for them now and that prayer that i'm praying for them seven of you there is a mighty grace for leadership this is the anointing that is coming on you i want to pray for them seven there might be many people but this some of you do not even know that you have been called is a joseph order of grace i pray for you wherever you are seven of you may that grace right now rest upon you may that grace rest upon you apostolic leadership by the spirit of god may that grace be released upon you now in the name of jesus christ may that grace help them please may that grace rest upon you now in the name of jesus let me pray for you the one holding the photo i i can imagine that most of you are holding people's photos but i want to pray for you one of you right now as i'm speaking the power of god is coming upon you i just saw like fire just come upon you there's one of you right now it's an instruction god gave me to wait until that happens and then i can minister to you in the name of jesus the son of the living god right now for the sick person you are holding ah i'm hearing another name even though i'm in the east i'm hearing Audu. Audu. i don't know if it's the name of somebody or your son name Audu. a u d u i believe that should be it this is the east but i'm hearing that name Audu, and i'm hearing restoration for that family i don't know who that person is but if you are in this place please let me minister to you otherwise i want you to open up your heart to receive i pray for all those who are holding their photos here in the name of jesus the son of the living god for every need that is represented in the photos of your loved ones may the god of heaven arise and visit them right now write this down there is a mighty revival that is coming to your campus hear what i'm saying there is a mighty revival that is coming to your campus and some of those people are in this place right now i'm not even talking of fellowship leaders there is a mighty revival i started seeing this in the morning and the lord has given me the allowance to release that grace you are a student on campus here it's time for you to receive of this fire and this grace lord where are they the men and women that you are calling by the spirit in this season at the count of three i'm going to stretch my hand may this mantle from heaven that it will rest and ignite you with fire from whatever campus you are here represented father at the count of three let those that will spearhead your mighty move across campuses may this fire and this grace rest upon them now one two three take that fire take that fire take that fire upon the campus prayer like never before revelation like never before consecration like never before both students and lecturers carry that grace both students and lecturers carry that grace both students and lecturers carry that grace in the name of jesus christ hallelujah the lord is showing me a gentleman here i want to pray for you i hope i'm not wasting your time you are from a royal family you are from a royal family you are from a royal family you are a gentleman from a royal family 
I want to pray for you. There is something that destroys people where you came from. Royal, make sure you are from a royal family. Please let me, who is that person? You are from a royal family? Where is that? In Otumbi. In What's the name of the, um, how, do they, how do you call it here? So someone help me. What was the? In Netsu, royal family of River States. Okay. How about you, sir? Nsuka. Alolo Nsuka. What family? His right hand is Igwe Ngumweze. Alolo Nsuka. Is there someone like that? Many of you may not know. How about you? I want to pray. There is a spirit. Perhaps not all of you, but the Lord is asking me to pray. You come from a royal family. There is something we need to destroy. Even though it's a royal family, people never become great. And if anybody rises to be great, it's like a sacrifice. You start having dreams and that person must go down. I want to pray for you. Why are these gentlemen coming? You are from a royal family? Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, there are two of you here. The call of God is upon your life. The mighty call of God is upon your life. Call of God is upon your life. I'm praying for you. Let me start with those two. In the name of Jesus Christ, the dealings of the Spirit that will make you become powerful vessels, may that grace be released upon you now. In the name of Jesus Christ, may that grace be released upon you. And then for everyone here, any covenant connected to the family you are coming from that kills people and destroys people, in the name of Jesus, we declare that spirit leaves you once and for all. <laughs> Hallelujah. You have been looking for your brother. This is almost four years and you have not seen the person. This is what the Lord is revealing to me. Almost four years. It's like the person, whether is missing or went somewhere, but they've not been able to see the person. They don't even know whether he is dead or the person is alive. And the Lord is asking me to pray. The person is not dead. With what I'm seeing in my vision, somebody told him that they want to walk out a way for him and take him to Europe to go out of Nigeria. In the name of Jesus, I pray for that family. Huh? No, listen, don't, don't cry. Your brother, who is that? Who is, who is, who is? Your brother? Yes, sir. Where? From Delta, sir. From? From Delta. You are from Delta? Yes, sir. You've not seen him? No. For how long? More than 10 years now. He's ah. about to travel abroad. Sir. This one I'm talking about four years, but I will still pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus. Where are you coming from, my friend? I'm seeing a chain around you. And the Lord is saying, lose him. I declare right now, let that chain leave you now in the name of Jesus Christ. Let that chain be broken from your life by the power that raised Christ from the dead. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you, everyone who is missing in your life and everything that is missing in your life by the power that raised Christ from the dead, may it be restored now. May it be restored now. May it be restored now. In the name of Jesus. Now, the Lord wants me to pray against the spirit of death. The spirit of death. Some of you will be surprised as I pray this prayer. Because you go to sleep and all you see are dead people that have already gone. Some of them calling you and you have prayed for some of you. You have fasted. And you don't know what is this thing that is connecting you with the dead I want to pray for you and bring a separation between life and death there is a gulf in the spirit and they should never meet anyone here who is a victim of the manipulation of the spirit of death right now as I stretch my hands may that grace come upon you for your deliverance be set free help them please be set free from that satanic influence. I declare you shall not die. I declare you shall not die. I declare you shall not die. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a vision. Madam, I'm seeing in a vision your prayer mountain. 
this is what God is showing me in a vision and the Lord is saying I should tell you that you have been faithful that another cubit is measured for you in the spirit this is what God is saying I should tell you that another cubit is being measured for you in the spirit and that you will begin to walk in higher levels of prophetic power this is what God is revealing to me that he will start showing you not just things relating to those around you but even things that are connected to nations and territories and God is saying as a sign you will start having people come from many nations for a retreat on your prayer ground not just people around people will come as a group from other nations and say we have heard about what God is doing we are coming here to come and pray and to access grace may the Lord bring his word to pass even by the Spirit of the Living God in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ is there someone with a name Elo Chuku Elo Chuku E-L-O then Chuku Elo Chuku I believe that is a name Elo Chuku is there someone with that name I want to pray for you the Lord wants to bring to end every satanic captivity Hello, Chuku. I'm hearing that name in the spirit. What do you do, sir? Your wife. Is it a male or female name or both? Okay, both. Your name is Hello, Chuku. Your wife, sir. What do you do? Me. I'm a minister. You're a minister of the gospel. Yes, sir. You run a church. Yeah. I want to pray for you. We'll pray since you are standing in for your wife. We'll pray for you. Hello, Chuku. The Lord wants to roll away shame and reproach. Is it your name or your son name? Sir, my son name. Your son name? Yes, sir. Father, in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. There is a gentleman that I'm seeing by the Spirit of God. The revelatory grace, the grace of a teacher but it's a prophetic dimension of a teacher you will become a rising voice almost it will be like where did this guy suddenly come from you will start teaching scripture with such power this is an ordination that God wants to bring you into this dimension I know that there are many people who desire this grace but I'm praying for you now there is a gentleman but I'm also seeing the fire spread there are at least 11 of you from that one person a strange grace prophetic dimension of the teaching grace i stretch my hands towards you wherever you are may my god bring you into that level of spiritual understanding hallelujah listen i know that i'm praying for everybody but there is an exact gentleman you will start ministering with strange levels of understanding your spiritual acumen your understanding of scripture people will look at you even those who are close to you will say in the last two or three months you have changed something has come on you this man is one of them wearing glasses take that grace may that grace rest upon you a strange order of the spirit of revelation in the name of Jesus the son of the living God your eyes will see insight into the word of God and everybody who desires that grace I stretch my hands may the spirit of revelation rest upon you now may the spirit of revelation rest upon you now rest upon you now hallelujah bishop sir with all due respect the Lord is saying I should speak to your wife and to you first to your wife madam I do not know you but there is the grace a prophetic grace that God is placing upon this woman you have seen it in a dimension but the Lord is measuring another cubit and I stretch my hands may you begin to walk in this strange order of grace in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah hallelujah and your Lordship sir with all due respect let me just speak to you I'm seeing you climb a ladder in the spirit and every time the Lord shows me this he's increasing your sphere of influence I'm placing grace I release that grace now let it come upon you in the name of Jesus Christ for you and your wife and for your vision I shift you by prophecy into a new dimension in the name of Jesus Christ please help him help him let's honor him 
as touching what he carries god bless you thank you for your humility sir may the lord truly honor you in the name of jesus christ hallelujah sir new wine this man new wine come please come new wine is coming upon you father help this man let grace rest upon you things you have not seen dimensions you have not entered may my god bring you into this experience in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ that grace rests upon you in the mighty and matchless name of jesus there is a gentleman you are among those doing the work of the protocol but there is a mighty hand of god upon your life and the lord is saying i should tell you that your time of visitation is here you are among the gentlemen doing the protocol work but in the name of jesus wherever that person is i decree and declare help him in the name of jesus let that grace rest upon you and shift you to strange dimensions in the spirit in the mighty and matchless name of jesus christ the lord is still telling me that he wants to raise teachers in the east i'm hearing this in the spirit that he wants to raise teachers in the east and he's asking me to still pray that prayer that i pray he wants to raise teachers soundness of the word i pray for you i don't know how many people are aligning their spirit to this prophetic word but let that teacher anointing let it rest upon you now let that teacher anointing rest upon you now rest upon you now to build god's people with power to build god's people with grace hallelujah i gave a prophetic word was it yesterday or this morning and the lord is asking me to repeat it about a boy state that there are people i am seeing a macedonian call the lord is still asking me to repeat it i gave that word yesterday that there is a revival that god wants to bring in a boy state and there is a macedonian call there are people who are available and willing but they are looking for people of stature that god will use to mentor and raise and train them i'm praying for them and if there is anyone here who god will be sending or through your life or through your ministry i'm praying that the increasing to raise these mighty people let it be released upon you let it be released upon you hallelujah there is a woman the power of god is coming upon you you are an example of what they call a prayer warrior you are really a prayer warrior not just in name you are really a prayer warrior may that grace i'm staring that grace you are a woman you are really a prayer warrior such power and grace is going to come upon you you will pray and shift the climates of cities and nations even by the spirit help them please so that you don't have to drag them just take it easy a prayer warrior you know most people just say i'm a prayer warrior a prayer warrior is a warrior that was in the place of prayer and birth establishing victory and praying wherever that woman is let that grace that you need for the season that is coming may it be released upon you now may it be released upon you now in the name of jesus is there someone by the name christopher christopher i'm hearing the name christopher like chris christopher in the name of jesus christ christopher what do you do my friend this man or what huh? no 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 don't cry what what talk to me my friend i just came back from abroad you just came back from abroad <laughs> yeah. with nothing to show for it because you have been there and nothing happened to you this thing is a very demonic and spiritual thing i want to pray for you see promotion does not come from the east nor the west nor wherever it is i can tell you if god does not show men mercy you can wake up in the morning and sleep late in the night you will still eat the bread of sorrow hallelujah please don't be offended 
I want to make a call that is not a usual call. I want to pray for you. There is a gentleman here. I want to pray for you. Your friend is a cultist. And God wants to deliver both you and deliver your friend. I would not say this if God did not put it in my heart. You are a sincere person, but your friend has something to do with all this, this, um, this satanic, cultic, occultic thing. The Lord wants to bring you liberty. The Lord wants to bring you liberty. Christopher, I want to pray for you. Christopher, you prayed and you cried for another measure. I'm still saying this thing, oh. I'm saying so that you do not become a victim of your own friendship. In the name of Jesus Christ, Christopher, remember ye not the former things, nor consider the things of old. For behold, I am doing a new thing. Behold, I am doing a new thing. Behold, I am doing a new thing. I'm praying for you right now. You are the gentleman. Thank you for your courage. Eh? Don't worry. I'm not here to embarrass you. You understand? Your friend is a cultist. I want to pray for you. You see, when we do these things, it's beyond a man of God just showing that you are prophetic. You see, this is the mistake that people make. Sometimes you write, it takes a lot of courage for this man to come. The Bible says, listen to me, God wants to help. Ah, what am I seeing now? Don't sit back, oh, if God wants to help you. Don't sit back. Come, I want to pray for you and deliver you and pray for your friend. Cultist. Just stand this. These people have finished praying for you in Jesus' name. You return with testimonies, huh? In the name of Jesus. Please return to your seat rejoicing. I want to pray for this, my gentleman. In fact, I, I don't mean to embarrass you, but one of you, God needs to help you. You went somewhere and they gave you something to tie. And with this thing, it has been troubling you, disturbing you now as I speak. You are in this place. There is no peace for you. I don't know if it's safe to ask you to come out, but you really, really need to be helped of God. Huh? My friend, look at me. Don't be embarrassed, eh? Don't be embarrassed. I want to pray for you. When God reveals, the purpose is redemption. You believe that? This is not to stigmatize people so that you go and start saying, oh, you are a devil, you are a demon. Is the reason why sometimes, except compelled by the Spirit, it's wiser to just see the people afterward. But sometimes, God allows this thing as a sign and a wonder. How do you stand in a crowd like this and then you are talking about this and these gentlemen are coming? Gentlemen, I believe that you have great destinies and we do not condemn you. This is a house of love. You understand? But then you need to be prayed for because some of you, I'm seeing one of you and please don't feel bad. That's why I said so that you don't become a victim of your friendship. That they are asking the person you must give somebody who is your friend. And the person is saying, okay, whatever it is, they are taking your picture and stabbing it with a knife. And then the person just dies, just like that. Everything that is not of God, manipulations of darkness that involves you for your sake, let it die now. I say it again for your sake. Let every plot of darkness, let it give way now. My friends, please look at me. I love you with all my heart and I'm going to pray for you. But I will, with all due respect, maybe refer you to any of the ministers out after service. Because this kind of issue is not just prayer for you to go. The Bible says, blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked nor stand in the way of sinners, nor sit in the seat of the scornful. He says, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and on that law doth he meditate day and night. So I pray for you, that every spirit that has been connected to you, by reason of this occultic, satanic activity, whether it is friendship, or it is you being the victim yourself, I stretch my hands by the blood of the eternal covenant that speaketh better things than the blood of Abel. I declare your eternal separation right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. God bless you gentlemen. Please you stand up. Perhaps maybe someone can meet with them after service. Let me pray. My friend who came from where? Where is abroad? Cyprus. Not at Cyprus. How long were you there? Three and a half years. And you came back with nothing. <laughs> yes. Don't cry. I need to pray for you. Father,
show him mercy in the name of Jesus show him mercy and restore him and I'm praying for every one of you here you have come out for various calls in the name that is above all names one of you I'm hearing is Savior God is going to use you to lift your family members I prayed that prayer earlier but for you I'm talking of those in front here I stretch my hands upon that one person let the grace allocated for this assignment now be released upon you in the name of Jesus Christ let the grace allocated for this assignment be released upon you now and for all of you who are here I declare in Jesus name you will return with testimonies by the power of the Holy Spirit you return with testimonies by the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus let's celebrate them as they go hallelujah now hear me I want to pray the Lord wants to minister particularly for anyone having any demonic satanic growth in your body it doesn't matter what name it has been called I'm going to pray right now whether it's from fibroid whether it's cancer anything planting that is not of God male or female and I'm seeing a gentleman is it your elder brother I'm hearing prostrate prostrate is like prostrate like cancer prostrate cancer this is something that happens to men who is that person I want to pray if not I'm seeing that the devil wants to just take that person's life I want to pray you can see mama I'm going to pray for the sick while we're getting into the healing now but the Lord particularly is asking me to speak to these people growths satanic growths in your body that must give way now everybody please begin to pray in the spirit pray in the spirit with understanding those outside you are part of the service online part of the service any demonic stranger manifesting as a growth in your body it's time for it to give way every planting that is not by my father I'm about to pray for you and it must give way are you praying in the spirit miracles are happening right now 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 that demonic growth is leaving you right now living by the spirit of god help that woman that has something that looks like a mask on her throat hallelujah now hear me i'm going to pray for you there are some of you who will need to go to the hospital to verify i'm talking of growths particularly growths i want to pray and then we'll take other cases now in the name of jesus now please by faith make contact with any part of your body where that growth is and those in the crowd right where you are you can stand in for someone that you know you don't have to come out but you can stand in by faith lay your hands if it's your your tummy or wherever if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just do what i'm asking you to do ah something is happening right now yes sir something is happening right now jesus something special supernatural about your name jesus help that woman please something happens when i man now i want to pray for you i'm seeing a whirlwind and i'm seeing a dark object just coming out of people right now i decree and declare the spirit that is back of this oppression i speak as one sent by the lord let them go now let them go now let them go now release them every satanic influence i command that it comes out of your body now every satanic growth leaves now 
leave now leave now cancerous growth i command that they die from your body now fibroids i command a caros keteva katos yata epres kas yata skabariata kretos penekos yata i command fibroids you dry out of this body now help them please I cause every fibroid, every growth, it leaves this body right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. And every kind of lung that is found in any part of your body that was not ordained by God as the church of the Lord Jesus Christ, here in Enugu State, we cause it to go back to the devil where it came from. In the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I'm feeling a sharp pain at my left side this is what one of you has very sharp pain at the left side that demonic pain is living now that satanic pain is living now and hear me if there is any one of you because of these fibroids it has affected your fertility I release you go and give birth now go and give birth now help that woman I release you go and give birth now help her I release you go and have your children now in the name of Jesus Christ return to your seat rejoicing as you check yourself will give room for you to testify now everyone else there's a strong healing anointing here please rise up on your feet if you can lay your hands where you are trusting God for a miracle right now lay your hands if you came with someone who is sick inside or outside now is the time to believe God for them lay your hands your head lay your hands if it's your ear lay your hands there if it's a part of your body you don't have to bring them out if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest or wherever if it's someone who is blind or you are the one who is blind lay your hands on your eyes deaf ears any kind of mobility problem please lay your hands and let's trust the lord for a miracle right now my god i sense such a strong anointing holy 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 are you lord The saints and the angels bow The redeemed worship you now Holy, holy, holy are you Lord Listen Jesus was speaking and said Did I not tell you that if you can't believe That you will see the glory of God I want to pray for you In one minute I want you to take your attention away from that sickness and just look on to Jesus I know you are feeling the pain I know the bones seem like they don't have life and strength I know that the ear may seem deaf on one hand whatever it is I just want you to believe God there is a lady from where I'm standing you're wearing white that lady it's not word of knowledge I'm seeing her I want to speak to her that lady wearing white that is praying right now come I'm still praying for the sick but I want to speak to that lady come my dear look at me you are going to become a powerful vessel in the hand of God a very powerful vessel in the hand of God but he will lead you through many seasons of dealings there are prunings there are things that will happen but in the end of it it will be a very superior kind of believer that you will become and the Lord is asking me to pray for you if his stamina God has given it to you God place something upon your spirit that even you you are not aware of I stretch my hands let grace rest upon you that from today you will not be an ordinary person the consecrations and the dealings in the spirit that need to build you to become that vessel of honor I release that grace upon you now in the name of Jesus you will not be small you will be a powerful vessel in the hand of God 
grace to go through the dealings grace to go through the prunings grace to go through the circumcision until you evolve as a powerful vessel of the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ let's pray let's pray if you are standing in for someone now here's what will happen there are several miracles that have already happened here I want you very quickly I'm going to pray as soon as I pray I will declare by faith by the power of the Holy Spirit and I want you to believe that the hand of God will rest upon you I would want let's have two ministers maybe one pastor here one pastor here the moment something happens to you whether you are up the balcony you're outside you're inside I want you to run and come and stand let's take a few testimonies and then we'll go straight to the impartation and after the impartation we're done I really look forward to the grace that is coming upon your life and destiny but for now we have to do justice to the sick so let's have one maybe a man of God here another one there and the moment I pray for you and the power of God touches you don't be ashamed don't be afraid some of you checking yourself you see that miracles are already happening but allow me finish the prayer and then you come let's pray let's pray what Igbo worship song do you know somebody raise one powerful Igbo worship song just for a minute or two this is what the Lord is speaking organize yourselves make sure you raise a song that really brings people one powerful Igbo song go ahead Akaya, Akaya. Aka now in the name of Jesus the son of the living God I decree and declare right now every spirit of infirmity here represented by the power that raised Christ from the dead I declare that you will let God's people go now you will let God's people go now you will let God's people go now I decree and declare be healed right now I bring you the healing power of Jesus right now from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet be healed in the name of Jesus migraine headaches be healed blood conditions be healed every growth in your body I command it to live now anyone having a bone problem and it has affected your walking in the name of Jesus be healed now whether you are deaf on one ear or both ears I command the deaf ear to be open now let the eyes that could not see begin to see now the Lord is healing someone you have a condition I don't know if it's a heart condition around your chest that heaviness is lifted right now that heaviness is lifted right now in the name of Jesus there's someone you are not completely crippled but you could not walk well the moment I pray for you now begin to walk you will see that a miracle has happened to you in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I'm seeing someone you have severe pain just at this side of your neck the power of God is touching you right now and you will begin to do what you could not do in the name of Jesus the Lord is showing me a gentleman you are not able to squat down because I don't know what is wrong with your kneecap 
but in the name of Jesus the power of God is touching you right now the Lord is healing a lady you are not a young lady but this thing has affected your health what the Bible calls the issue of blood this thing has become a plague it has drained your health drained life out of you the power of God is coming upon you right now be healed in the name of Jesus Christ I'm seeing someone being healed of pile very severe painful pile be healed right now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ by the power of the Holy Spirit severe pain around your abdominal region here it looks like appendicitis the power of God is touching you right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus Christ now there is someone you have started having severe pain on one side of your body this thing first started with your hand when you lie down you will feel numb and then it comes back and then now it started around your joint areas I want to pray for you this is a symptom of arthritis I'm not a medical doctor but this is what the Holy Spirit is speaking to me about in the name of Jesus wherever that person is let there be healing right now let there be healing right now the Lord is showing me someone you see you are not blind but once it is night you cannot drive because you are not able to see you don't see and if you are not careful you can hit someone in the name of Jesus I'm praying for you wherever you are you don't have to come out my friend but in Jesus name be healed right now chest conditions be healed right now if there is anyone here suffering from any kidney infection or kidney problem ah yeah a miracle is happening to you right now a miracle is happening to you right now you will know you have been healed because a pain help that woman the pain that you used to have that pain is vanishing right now in the name of Jesus Christ you had a dream and one side something happened to one side of your breast and you have been afraid to go to the hospital but the truth is you started feeling a lot of pain and you are afraid so that they would not tell you is something you don't want to hear in the name of Jesus I don't know who that person is the left breast I declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead let that devil leave your body now hallelujah there is someone you've started forgetting things it's a medical condition they call dementia where you don't recall things again you you start you you forget it's like you're forgetting names and forgetting you know identities of people in the name of Jesus whether you are here or it's any of your loved ones I declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead be healed right now now whether I mention your case or not in the name of Jesus by the power that raised Christ from the dead I speak to you be healed now there is very severe pain that I'm seeing someone is having your entire back your spine area excruciating pain in the name of Jesus let that pain live now now everyone here as an act of faith as I pray for you for some of you whilst you came under the anointing here you saw that a miracle has happened I don't want you to be afraid I don't want you to be ashamed you are in this place do what you could not do before and you see that there is a miracle that has happened to you I want you to leave your seat rejoicing come and stand here and let's give you an opportunity to testify of the goodness of God are you seeing miracles already happening to people please be seated for a moment come come don't be ashamed if there is someone you have been touched by the power of God please clear the way for them there are people who are coming let's celebrate them as they come check yourself very quickly you do what you could not do we'll take a few testimonies and then we'll be ready for the impartation by the way please keep coming let's celebrate them as they come I didn't ask you to bring your prayer request this time around so do not worry even if you don't have a prayer request 
um, I, I will speak over your life whilst we're having the impartation. Let's, let's just check them and have one or two testimonies. My friend, I see you holding a woman. Um, what's wrong with her? Stroke. In, in the name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord touch that woman. I curse that demonic spirit in Jesus' name. You keep her seated eh? so you don't frustrate her while she's standing. You can imagine how wicked the devil is. This is someone's mother. And it just comes to oppress people like that and destroy their lives. I'm saying it again. Everything that has not been planted by my God, in the name of Jesus, it must let you go finally. I know that there are so many testimonies. We cannot take all. Let's just see how we take one or two just as a witness. And then we'll go straight to the impartation. Our intent is to be sure that we finish on time. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Please help us with the sound. Uh, this lady here, she said she has been having problems with her eyes. You've been having a problem with your eyes? For how long? I'd like to hear the testimony of that elderly man, that our father and our uncle. Someone check him. Let's, let's know what has happened to him. Yes, please. Okay, that's since 2018. Yes. So I was given these glasses. Yes. Then in 2021, I stopped using the glasses the way I was being directed. I was claiming with faith that uh, I don't need to keep wearing glasses. Yes. Then this year again, the pain started again. Yes. So, in fact, even when I came in here, the pain was severe, mostly from the left eye. Um, and right now? Yes. But right now, after the prayers, I noticed that the pains have already disappeared. Completely. Yes, Are you started. celebrating Jesus? Yes. In the name of Jesus, it will never return to you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Next testifier, very quickly. Go ahead. Let me hear that elderly man. Okay. This okay. lady here have had ankle pains. Ankle pain? Yes, for the past two weeks. For the past two weeks. And right now? Right now she's healed. Ankle pain. Any pain. Any pain at all. Let's celebrate what Jesus is doing. It will never return to you again in Jesus' name. Apostle, there's a testimony here. Yes, please. Go ahead. The kidney stone gone completely. The kidney. pains were all over him the when pain. he came. But so now the pain gone completely. So you go to the hospital for verification. But in the name of Jesus, we declare that this is established now and established forever. Let's celebrate Jesus. Next testifier, please, very quickly. He had pain on the, uh, by, the side, by the left chest here. How long has it been? Over more than a year. And right now, it's gone. Yes. It will never return to you again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let's celebrate Jesus. Yes, please. I normally have seizure if I don't take my drugs, but when I you fell, have seizure, yeah, when I don't take my drugs, but when I fell under anointing, I felt it leave right from my right right leg, and I normally have a, a little bit of pain from this side of my chest, but I felt it left today again. In the name of Jesus, the seizures gone forever, the heart pain gone forever. In Jesus' name, are you ready with the test? Yes, go ahead. Um, the, the old man here have been having arthritis. Pain so on her leg. On arthritis? Legs. Yes. For how long, sir? For four years. Four, uh, arthritis and the uh, prostrate for four years now. Prostrate? Yes. In the name of Jesus. And right now? Yeah. Move your legs, sir. Yeah. That's why I come out. He said he couldn't squat before, but now. Look at this. In the name of Jesus, it will never return to you again. Look at what this man is doing. Are you giving Jesus praise? Yeah! In the name of Jesus, we will never return to you. God bless you. Let's celebrate Jesus. Next person, please. He had a growth on his neck. Very quickly. Let me hear you, the gentleman. Quickly. So no, no, don't give him the mic. Just hold it for him. Yes. All of a sudden, straight to I, the point. All of a sudden, I noticed that I could not swallow my spit anymore. Like I begin to notice a very powerful pain here. But he was calling it growth. I don't. I didn't know that it was, the name was growth anyway. But all of a sudden, as they, as we were singing Akaya, Akaya, so I noticed that the thing was diminishing. And now I can solve my spirit without any. Completely, yes. in the name of Jesus, it will never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, very quickly, please. Okay, go there's ahead. A, there's a testimony here, Apostle. Please go ahead. This guy came in here. He had a kneecap injury. You had a kneecap injury? Yes, and you, you mentioned let me, the case. Let me, let me hear him. 
I'm, I'm a fitness coach, so I was in the gym two weeks, three weeks ago. Yes. And I had an injury. I haven't been able to squat or to do my leg day or Yes. But this, at the moment you stayed in here, I held my knee and the pain. Run. Was do what you couldn't do. Look at this. Are you giving Jesus praise? May God bless you. Celebrate the hand of God. This guy had a severe cough. Severe cough. Severe cough. And has lasted for so long. And right now, he's free. Completely in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh dear, very quickly, let's see. You organize them. Someone should be organizing them so they make it easy. Okay, he go ahead. Had severe pains on his back. Severe back pain. Yes. Right he... now, gone. Gone. Let's celebrate Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, it never returns. Yes, please. Pile for five years. You've had pile. Medically verified? Yes. Have you gone to the hospital? Yes, I've taken every type of drugs. You've taken every kind of drug? Yes. And, and it did not go? Yes, but and now you, I cannot feel it. It's gone. It's gone. In the name of Jesus Christ. Are you celebrating Jesus? It will never return to you again. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Gone forever. Yes, sir. Another case of pile. Gone. Another uh, case of pile. Yes, sir. How long have you had it, my dear? For months, sir. For months. Yes, sir. In the name of Jesus, it will never return to you again. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Let's celebrate her. Yes, please. She has had pains on one part of her body, on the right part, for the past two years. For the past two years, mama? Yes. Where? What part of your body? This part of my body. And right when now. You mention it. Lift your hand. Lift do what you couldn't do. Lift it up, down, lift it up, down, lift it up, down. Let's celebrate Jesus. It will never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. This, this lady came with neck pain. Neck pain? Yes, but it's for how long? For a week. For, for a, a week. week. I've been having the pain. But after, when I was praying, I was noticing the pain. But after the prayer, the instant healing took place. In the name of Jesus instant Christ. Instant healing. This now, young woman here also had kneecap injury. You had a kneecap. No, no, don't worry. You don't have to. Kneecap injury. But now she's free. For how long? Almost since 2006, I had an accident on this same leg. Walk. Look at this. Since 2006, she had an accident there. Father, we give you all the... Huh? What did you say? I'm trying to climb the staircase. If I climb, I have to hold the rail before I'm able to. I stop wearing heels. Walk up and come here. Look at this. In the name of Jesus Christ, it will never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Now let's let's take perhaps maybe just one here and then two or three more. We have to rush so we do the impartation. The promise is to close on time. Go ahead. She, she put to bed in February. She put to bed February. Yes, and since then her waist shifted. Now watch this. Hips. That she put to bed. Let me hear her. I put I gave birth to a baby in February and then my hip bone shifted this side. Your hip bone then, shifted. Yes. After you gave birth. Yes. And since then, I feel that I even came here with the pain. When I sit, when I stand, I feel it. Bend it down now. Me. Check yourself. In the name of Jesus Christ. Perfection for your body. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Yes, please. West pain uh, that affected his left part. The West, left leg. West pain. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are perfected forever by the power of the Holy Spirit. Can we have just one or two more? Yes. She had issues seeing. She could not see without glasses. How long? Two years, sir. You could not see without glasses. Yes, sir. Where are your glasses? Yeah, it's my bag. You kept them there. Yes. And you can see everything now. Yes, yes. Give Jesus praise. This guy came in. Apostle, this guy came in with chest pain triggered by ulcer. By ulcer, yes. And but right when you now, made declarations, it left him. In the name of Jesus, it will never return to you. 
never return to you. Yes. Since there's one more, let's just finish. This one came in here with colon cancer. Colon cancer. Cancer. Yes, sir. Verified medically. You went to the hospital. How long? It has stayed for over a year and six months. Have you done any surgery? No, I've not done. They, uh, they uh, placed me under chemotherapy. So I just went for one. You, oh, you've, yes. you've started chemotherapy? Yes, I only did one. And after that one, I listened to this message engaging the lights four days ago. That was when my miracle happened. I wanted to help back, but I said no. I was begging my daddy. I was Colon cancer. Me. I was begging my father, please don't take me to that chemotherapy tomorrow. Because I know they are already healed. I know it's not nobody's telling me. So you go and so, verify, but I pray for you. I'm very touched by your case. Come, come. Let me take a minute to just speak over your life. Colon cancer. Anything cancer is satanical. Let me just tell you up front. Cancer is like a death sentence. It will first waste your finances before it kills the person. That's to tell you how demonic it is. There is nobody that suffers cancer whose finances will not suffer, no matter how wealthy you are. It will first waste finances, destroy people's peace. Then cannot be of God. My friend, what's your name? What's your name? Divine. Yes. Father, we pray as the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. We agree by faith. This is a young man. Let him not die from colon cancer. We speak life to you as the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. Because you have believed, you go with your testimony. In Jesus' name we pray. Yes. She had chronic dry eyes. She could not behold the screen for long. Dry eyes. Yes. And right now, um, I don't feel any pain anymore. Completely. Now, for all of you, let's celebrate her. For all of you, my sincere apologies. I know that all of you would have wanted to testify. But for the sake of time, so we just quickly do the impartation. I see that gentleman so pressed. What happened to you? The thing no. is that I have sugar in the blood and it gives me pain here and here. So when I fell under the anointing, I couldn't feel it again. Completely. Let's give Jesus praise. In the name of Jesus. For all of you who have come out to testify, in the name of Jesus, the Lord perfects your miracles. In Jesus' name. Please rise up on your feet. It's time to receive something now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, oh my Father, for giving us your Son and leaving your Spirit till your work on earth is done. One more time. Thank you, oh my Father, for giving us your Son and leaving your spirit till your work on earth is done. Impartation is very important for the continuity of God's program across a territory. When God grants grace unto a man it is not just for that man it is for as many who desire to walk in those dimensions when the lamp went off because the oil finished the other virgins came to beg and he said go to them that sell and buy in every generation and in every territory there are always certain them that sell you don't buy with money you buy with meekness, you buy with humility, you buy with hunger, you buy with open-heartedness. Go to them that sell and buy. Go to them that sell and buy. When God sends a word to Jacob, it is because he wants to lighten it upon Israel. The intent is not just to have an apostolic conference within the east where God brought a man of God to come and teach preach and minister to people but that by the privilege of God's grace as touching the dimensions of grace he has given us that somebody in addition to what you already carry perhaps that you can be quickened by the spirit to a greater dimension of efficiency when that happens it has translated to profiting for the kingdom and so I want to speak over your life over the next five minutes and I want you to believe I want you to receive with all your heart 
that impartation is a release of grace that is coming upon you you don't have to bring the people under the anointing out for time since it's just an impartation they are receiving father when you call men it is because you want to anoint you want to lift you want to bless i'm praying right now in the name of jesus that everybody who has been called into the prophetic office called to function in that office of a prophet whatever is limiting your performance in the spirit i measure a thousand cubits for you in the spirit and i decree and declare step into that river step into that river step into that prophetic river step into that prophetic river in the name of jesus christ i pray for everyone here whose prayer life has gone down in the name that is above all names let the grace to fan back your altar to flames may it be released upon you i pray in the name of jesus that whoever has lost the passion to study the word the passion to be a diligent student of scripture just help them you don't have to bring them out in the name of jesus let light from heaven rest upon your spirit now yeah. hallelujah and then i'm praying for you there are many of you who have been crawling i want to release the grace for speed in the name that is above all names anyone who has been stunted in life and ministry as i stretch my hands let that anointing that brings acceleration to your life let it locate you wherever you are let it locate you wherever you are please help them receive the grace for speed receive the grace for speed in the name of jesus christ and i pray for you a higher level of authority in the spirit i am praying you will begin to command power with god in the name of jesus christ every church here that is struggling whether in terms of membership or resources to do the work of the kingdom or abled hands to help the man of god i decree and declare may my god raise grace and support for you in the name of jesus christ for every student who is on campus here the intelligence that only comes from the spirit i impact it upon your mind now in the name of jesus christ and i decree and declare that the forces of darkness the forces of terrorism the forces of evil and wickedness over enugu state or any of the eastern states right now as the church of the lord jesus christ we banish the influence of those spirits in the name of jesus christ and any group fraternity cult that is poised to kill lives to cause mayhem to stop people on the road and slaughter people we decree and declare let there be angels released on assignment let there be angels released on assignment every church of the lord jesus christ here in enugu and all other eastern states we declare let fire burn upon your altar now i decree and declare like the rain that comes from heaven let that investment of the spirit rest upon your life now let it begin to rain in your life let it begin to rain in your ministry let it begin to rain in your office let it begin to rain in your business in the name of jesus christ the spirit of untimely death that has plagued families and will not allow families move forward in the name of jesus i call upon my god who is also your god let the dominion of death over families come to an end now please believe what you are receiving anyone here trusting god for a job whether for you or for your children i call upon the lord god of heaven who helps men 
between now and the end of this year may my God surprise you may my God surprise you in the name of Jesus and I pray this is a place that has been graced with the spirit of entrepreneurship I pray for anybody who is struggling in business anybody who is struggling to make ends meet in the name that is above all names I place grace upon you go and begin to excel 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 there are many of you who are here but the truth is that your destiny is not in this nation wherever you are I relocate you to the place of destiny in the name of Jesus the son of the living God east of the Niger let me pray for you your children will not serve the devil please shout a loud amen your children will not serve idols there will never be a generation in the east that will reject the God of the Bible therefore we decree and declare let the fire of revival let it rest upon the east let your sons and daughters call upon the name of the Lord let your sons and daughters call upon the name of the Lord let your sons and daughters call upon the name of the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ hear me ladies and gentlemen any family that has been backward here that will not go forward I stand as a prophetic midwife I push you forward I push you forward go forward in life go forward in destiny go forward in life go forward in destiny go forward in life go forward in destiny, go forward in destiny. listen please don't be tired of receiving listen to me I stand with all humility there is something that is coming on you I know what it means to be helped by God this man who is standing before you is a testament of what it means to be helped by God I have stood before kings before nations presidents leaders captains of industry I am not one person who has the leverage of somebody coming to do this no it is the finger of God there is a grace that comes upon a man It's called the grace for visibility it says neither do men light a candle that is the grace I want to release on you right now wherever you are whatever has been hiding your glory I call upon the God of Jeshurun that right here where you are rise to a position of visibility rise to a position of visibility rise to a position of visibility in ministry in business rise to a position of visibility hallelujah the spirit of smallness that keeps you small in the name of jesus i cost it right now by the power that raised christ from the dead Please hear me if there is any man who has despised your call and despised the hand of God upon your life between now and the end of this year 2023 I decree and declare may the grace of God upon your life begin to speak evidently two more prayers two more prayers do you believe in financial blessings I have told you if you are not empowered economically you will remain a slave forever any region any person any family the purpose of prosperity is not for the marketing of the flesh I was teaching my people and I told them the moment you you love jesus and you understand the purpose of the blessing don't be afraid to receive it listen to me one of the ways that satan keeps families and keeps destinies and churches bound is by surrounding them with zeal but with the spirit of poverty and lack 
there are many church buildings that have been stagnated there are many men of God who love Jesus Christ but right now they are parading the corridors of compromise because the means to take care of their children their wives their members there are many people destroying themselves becoming a prey to the devil I know that finances come when you transact wealth but let me tell you the truth God can use men to bless you I want to release a grace upon you in the name of Jesus I lay my hands on my head and I'm praying by the message of the God of David the one who opens a door that no man can shut I am praying for you between now and the end of this year a dimension of the help of God financially that you have not seen may it come your way 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 and for everyone here who has lost money whether in business lost money whether your goods were hijacked i don't care by what means and what form by the mercy of god may my god who is also your god restore you a thousandfold <laughs> hallelujah finally you stand i will kneel to pray this prayer I place my hand upon the earth of the east in the name of Jesus as an apostle of the Lord Jesus Christ O earth I speak to you by the power that raised Christ from the dead if there is anything upon the soil of the east that destroys the program of God by the mercy of God let the blood speak right now by the mercy of God let the blood speak right now by the mercy of God let the blood speak right now hear me I decree and declare the eastern region I said it yesterday I will repeat it again the dimension of grace that is supposed to serve the nations from here we open the gate for it to start manifesting every son of the soil daughter of the soil that has been ordained to serve the purposes of God whether financially or ministerially and there is a spirit that surrounded you and just boxed you in the east here without having a global visibility I declare may that gate this night be open may that gate this night be open may that gate this night be open in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah Thank you for your patience. Please give me the honor to make one last altar call. And then I will hand over to the host. Please be patient. Just learn five minutes and we're gone. Let's be disciplined in God's presence and to finish well. You are in this place and you are saying, Apostle, do not end this conference without giving me an opportunity to love Jesus. I made an altar call yesterday night. And I know that there are many of you. I saw several people outside. Please, I want you to listen to me. No one can compel you to come to Jesus, but your eternal destiny and your destiny even right here depends on it. I want to make an altar call, two calls in one. You are saying, I genuinely want to hand over my life to Jesus Christ to make it right. I'm tired of playing church and playing religion. I want to make it right with the Lord Jesus. Or you are saying, I am here. I want to rededicate my life to Jesus. There's no need to be afraid and ashamed. You know it because the Holy Spirit is already speaking to you. I'm going to count one to five. While everyone is seated, I want you to run and leave your seat. Come and stand here. At the end of the fifth call, I begin to pray. One, let's celebrate them as they come. Don't say I'm an usher. Don't say I'm a walker. Leave what you are doing and come before Jesus. Come. You don't have to kneel for space. Just stand. Enugu, are you celebrating salvation? Come. 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 Thank you. Thank you for making it right with Jesus. Young and old, male, female, come. We are out of time, but we will wait for you. You are worth our sacrifice. You were worth the blood of Jesus. Come. Let's celebrate those coming from outside. I still see a few people running from outside. 
hallelujah i see some of you coming to drop seeds just be patient with the issue of seeds first please let's just finish the altar call i'm sure there will be room for you to give but let's let's focus on salvation just those who are coming to give their hearts to the lord come the bible says there is joy in heaven rejoicing in heaven over the salvation of one sinner come thank you now for all of you who are in front i want to say a very big thank you for giving me the honor to lead you to make this for some of you as a first time decision and then for others as a rededication either ways you are most welcome it is never too late to make it right with jesus may i please request that you lift your right hand if you can high above your head as a sign of surrender and i want you to say this very loud and say it clearly say lord jesus tonight i have heard your word i have seen your power i believe that you are the son of god i believe that you died for my sin i believe that you rose again for my justification right now i receive jesus into my heart as my savior my lord and my king i declare that i am a child of god from this day forward i live for jesus amen keep your hands lifted blessed father we thank you for these precious ones if this is all you did today we are most grateful for these precious souls that you have brought the bible declares that as many who will come to you you will in no wise cast away these ones have come as an act of faith believing in your substitutionary sacrifice therefore by the authority of scripture i declare your sins forgiven and in the name of jesus i call you recipients of the life of god i call you the righteousness of god in christ jesus and i pray that from tonight you begin to walk in victory you go forward ever and backward never in jesus name we pray now we did that yesterday and i want to repeat myself i know that this is a final session i'm going to ask you for sake of time to return back to your seat but here is this anytime you are called upon if there is a way of getting i thought that there will be forms for them to fill but either ways here's my encouragement for you make sure oh there are forms okay here's what will happen please collect one of the cards then you can go back to your seat make sure um please pass it for them you don't have to pass it round make sure you pick a card before you go back to your seat you will fill it and then submit it on your way out to any of the ushers so that you have a few officials to follow on with you you don't have to fill it here you just make sure you have the card the moment you have the card then you are free to return back to your seat may the lord bless you let's celebrate them as they go let's celebrate them make sure you pick your card be patient until you are given a card and then afterwards you can return to your seat hallelujah before i invite reverend dan to come take the mic please come reverend dan i want to speak over your life and your wife both of you come quickly and then i speak over your life and then i want to say a very big thank you to enugu you have honored me for over seven years or thereabout i come into this city every year I do not take for granted your love and your honor. First to the servants of the living God in this land. Thank you very much. And then to the entire Eastern region. Thank you for your honor. Thank you for all that you do. I'm, I'm praying that as a result of this conference, that God himself will elevate the east of the Niger to a higher dimension of grace. Stretch your hands in one minute and speak over Reverend Dan and his wife. They have been of immense help an immense benefit i want to lay my hands on him and the wife please just lend if you have been blessed by this conference in one minute the ability to shelve their own agenda to focus on the non-denominational expression to just see jesus revealed over the land it takes a heart for the lord they have spent their resources they have put all kinds of things together stretch your hands in one minute as we pray for another measure another dimension of grace father thank you for reverend dan and his dear wife thank you for their church their ministry and all they are involved with lord as i lay my hands upon them 
I'm praying in the presence of your people that a greater level of honor, a greater level of fire, a greater level of consecration, a greater level of influence, let that grace come upon you right now. Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from and if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.